Hey guys, it's Brandon here from the Ensemble team, here with our very first product review and video tutorial. Today I'll be reviewing the Ivory Blue Board. It is a wireless MIDI pedal board that is compatible with the iPhone and the iPad. The Ivory Blue Board features four backlit foot switches, which lets you control parameters on any of the core MIDI compatible applications, such as Ensemble. Let's take a look. So how does the iRig Blue Board work? It connects to your iPhone, iPod Touch, iPad, or Mac via Bluetooth. And when you press its foot switches, it sends out control signals that are then converted to MIDI by the iRig Blue Board application. Now let's take a look at some of the features that the Blue Board has to offer. Some of the features of the iRig Blue Board are four backlit assignable foot switches, two quarter inch inputs for assignable expression pedals or switches which are not included and sold separately, bang changes, MIDI program changes, and MIDI control changes. The Blueboard iOS app runs in the background on mobile devices or Mac and translates Bluetooth messages to MIDI. This also runs on standard AAA batteries. Now let's take a look at my top five pro and con lists. Number five, it's small enough to fit into any laptop case. This is very handy for gigging musicians who don't want to carry a whole lot more onto the stage. Number four, you can store up to 32 presets on the iRig Blueboard. Number three, because it is MIDI, you can use the on-screen keyboard and not worry about pedal boards malfunctioning. Number two, the price. This is the best out there compared to other pedals on the market. For instance, an Airturn BT-1054 pedal is $159, and the 2 pedal is $119. These are definitely better built, so you are getting what you pay for. And the number one reason will be the ability to add two additional foot switches or expansion pedals. This gives the user plenty of options and chances to build onto your current setup. And now for the top five con list. Number five, construction. The casing is made of cheap plastic and for gigging musicians where things tend to take a beating to survive, I am not too sure of the craftsmanship of the board. Number four, the foot switch kept sliding on the floor during my performance. Number three, the blue board kept disconnecting. During a performance, it's said to place closer to the iPad but it was only three feet away. Irig Blue Board claims that it will work within 32.8 feet. Number two, confusing app. The app I found was not very user friendly and took me quite a bit of time to actually learn how to use it. Number one, the foot switches are hard to press. There's not a whole lot of response and without actually looking, I wasn't even sure if it changed to the next screen or not. So as a musician and a worship leader, I find that anything on stage that makes life easier is very appreciated. Uh, the Blue Board was one of them. I find that uh, it's very simple to use once you get the hang of it, and uh, it's very handy. So I would give it a B rating. So next, let's take a look on how to use the Blue Board with your on-song application. The iRig Blue Board is a wireless MIDI foot pedal that can be configured to work with a wide variety of apps, including OnSong. Because this is a MIDI device, you will need to purchase the MIDI add-on. To do this in OnSong, open the Utilities menu, which is the gear icon. Click on Add-ons, and purchase the MIDI add-on. Once completed, you would connect your iRig Blue Board by opening the Blue Board application installed on your device. The iRig Blue Board sends program changes to all MIDI channels by default. Tap on the All Channel button at the bottom of the Blue Board app and change to a single channel. This will avoid some confusion when customizing the foot pedal in OnSong. Next, open OnSong and choose Utilities, Editors, and then MIDI. You will see a window with no MIDI events. Press a foot pedal on the blue board and have it appear on this list. You can then tap on that event and assign it to any action. We recommend assigning pedals such as scroll up and scroll down, as these are the two most flexible options. When done, 
tap close. You can use the iRig Blueboard to scroll your music. Of course, you can map other pedals to a wide variety of actions as needed. You can also attach up to two expression pedals to the iRig Blueboard and use them with OnSong as well. You can configure foot pedals further in the foot pedal configuration tool by tapping the gear icon in the lower left hand corner of your screen. I hope this video has helped you guys. If you have any other questions about this, please leave us comments below or feel free to email us at support at onsong.com. Thanks guys. See ya.